So here we have the Mini Paceman on a 14 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside though, you can see it's a three-door vehicle uh, with the black alloy wheels to match the black roof and mirror caps. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors and plenty of boot space as well. We've also got that 50-50 split folding rear seat so that you can increase this space even further should you wish to do that. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. We have the rev counter, as you can see, the digital readout for the speedometer as well, and the total miles of this car, which is 61,285. You can change the information displayed in that section for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information by pressing the indicator stalk or the button on the end of the indicator stalk. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the right-hand side, we have cruise control. And over on the left-hand side, stereo and phone controls for the car. In the centre is where you'll find the main speedometer, the fuel gauge, and of course the stereo as well. So uh, this car has got AM and FM radio, DAB, CD player, auxiliary input, and USB input as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music. Press the menu button. This is where you'll pair your phone. We have our onboard computer as well. You can configure things like the time and date, etc., from here. So everything can be done from this dial, or you can press the button directly beneath whatever it is you want to go into, ultimately. We have the main volume for the stereo just there. Working our way down, we have the CD player, and then the climate control. So you can adjust the temperature, the fan speed, and the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. The air conditioning isn't on at the moment. That button turns it on. Same button again to turn it off, of course or hit auto, the car will now maintain this temperature by taking control of the direction of the air and the fan speed. Press auto again and you go back to whatever setting you had it on previously. Beneath that, we have a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings and the same available for the passenger side just here. We have our front and rear fog lights. We can put the car into sport mode. We can lock the car from the outside. This turns off the stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic which in turn will save you fuel. That system is off when that light shows. And then you can turn off the traction control from over here as well. We then have a couple of cup holders and a six speed manual gearbox. Beneath that, the auxiliary and USB inputs as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.